the second, the base unit of time, a fundamental measurement from which hundreds of other units are derived. But why is a second a second? And second, why is a second called a second? Well, the name second comes from the Latin pars minuta secunda, meaning second division of the hour. Because first you divide the hour into 60 minutes, and second you divide the minute into 60 seconds. So that's why second, as in first, second, third, is the same as in second, the unit of time. But how do you measure a second? Well, prior to 1960, the second was defined as taking the length of a day and dividing it up into the appropriate number of hours, minutes, and seconds. If you do some math, you find that there should be exactly 86,400 seconds in one day. Perfect, you have the definition of a second. Except, not really. The length of a day changes, not very much, maybe just the difference of a few microseconds, but that's not good enough for science. So in 1960, the International System of Units, or SI, redefined the second to be exactly 1 over 31,556,925.9747 of the length of a year as measured during 1900. So basically they chose a random year, 1900, and they say that during that year, after the Earth had made a full revolution around the Sun, exactly 31,556,925.9747 seconds had passed. Knowing that, you could do some math and figure out exactly how long a second would have to be. And notice the length of a second didn't really change, just the definition of the second. But this definition wasn't perfect. It worked okay, but scientists wanted something that was based off a fundamental concept of the universe, not in terms of how long it took our planet to orbit the sun. So in 1967, the definition of the second was changed for a final time. It was described with reference to the unperturbed ground state hyperfine transition frequency of the cesium-133 atom. What in the world does that mean? So first you have to understand a little bit about atoms. Atoms are comprised of a tiny nucleus in the center with electrons surrounding it. And those electrons oscillate or vibrate back and forth at very regular intervals. So scientists take a specific type of atom, called cesium-133, and measure how much the outermost electron vibrates. Once that electron has vibrated exactly 9,192,631,770 times, one second has passed. By definition, exactly one second. And again, notice the length of a second didn't change, just the definition. Why such a confusing definition? Well, because science needed something that was exact and reliable. Other methods also worked, but they just weren't as precise as this one. Atomic clocks use cesium-133 to keep time, but they still lose or gain about one second every hundred million years. And scientists are working right now to improve the accuracy of these clocks, which would improve telecommunications, high-speed network, and GPS. So, ensuring that we have an accurate definition of the second really is important.